Good morning guys, it's another new day, and I'm at home, and it's beautiful outside, and that means, well you know what that means, we're going for a ride, again, but today we're going to have the camera with us, so James and I should be able to get some footage shot today, and I'm really excited about it, it's going to be great, I've been sitting here at the window, like a little puppy dog, like Diesel, waiting for him, through the blinds, can you see through there, is he here yet, is he here yet? Why isn't he here? Where's my friend? Maybe that's my friend. Let's go see. Is that my friend? Is that my friend? Where is he? James, is that you? Nope, not James. Hey, I want to talk to this person too. So you guys will have to excuse me. Still waiting. He's not here yet. Where are you, James? James, where are you? Wanna go riding, James? My bike's all warmed up, we're ready to go. Actually, I gotta gear up yet. I should probably put my gear on. And we be ready to go right off the bat. He said he'd be here like a while ago. It shouldn't take him that long to get here. Hope he's okay. He's here, guys. He made it. I did. And he's alive. He's not dead like we might have thought. Well, had you vlogged that you were worried because I was taking so long? I was waiting by the window over there like a little puppy dog. <laughs> like, where's my friend? Where's my friend? Diesel, <laughs> Diesel, where's my friend? That reminds me, we gotta bring Diesel in yet. He's outside. I'll go so. grab him. Okay. Put him in here. I guess we could leave him outside. It's a nice day, but all his food's inside. I think we're all ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. I need to get some wind motor. Yeah, let's go, it's hot. First stop is Canadian Tire. This is what I need for the truck. See, I got a little one for my, uh, for Christmas. I got this one for my dad. It's awesome, I wanna keep that for my car. I'm thinking about getting uh, one of these big ones down here. Blue Planet solar panel. It's, uh, oh, this is only a 15 watt. You can get like a 25 watt, and you put that on your dash, right? When you park your truck over the weekend and it keeps your battery right charged. I've always had battery problems, right? I haven't had battery problems with this truck yet. But this is for the house, I think. Oh, it's for motorhomes too. That's just huge. Can you imagine? That's a hundred watt solar panel. That's almost enough just to boost your truck in like 10 minutes. This is probably what I'm looking for. 60 watts. Or is this the one? This is the one. There, Coleman 20 watt solar charger. Like I said, you can put those on the dash of your truck and it keeps your uh, keeps your battery charged when you're on your reset and at home enjoying your home time and you don't have to worry about your truck starting. If you leave your fridge on, then you can leave your fridge on, your uh, converter on, and it won't kill the battery while you're gone. Okay. Well, Canadian Tire was busy. Now we're just trying to figure out where to go. Where do you ride in Winnipeg? Are you from Winnipeg? Where do you ride in Winnipeg? There's not really much to do in Winnipeg. Look, guts. We could just sit here and stare at this beautiful headlight. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna figure out where to go and then uh, we'll put around there a bit, I guess. Notice how he said singular for headlight? Yes, he has one single headlight. Well, there are two bulbs in here, but it's one casing, right? Well, they both, yeah, it's symmetrical. Yeah. I'm big into symmetry. I'm like OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> so uh, symmetry is important to me. Oh, exactly. It looks a lot better on the highway because mine, you've seen the bikes out there that only have one headlight on. Everyone thinks you have a burnt out headlight. They're supposed to be like that. Here, I'll show you real quick. Yeah, I don't really like it either. Let's see, see if I put my key in the ignition here. Turn it on, see? Oh, it's all dirty, I know. You see how there's one light missing? It's supposed to be like that. Turn my high beams on. And then I have two lights, right? So my bike always looks so off-center and so... Like you, you wouldn't believe the amount of people that pull up to me at a stoplight to tell me I have a burnt-out headlight. Whereas his... It's all one piece. Brights and dims. I think it looks a lot better, too. 
we're just where are we in Broadway area Winnipeg Broadway, yeah Wolsey area figured we'd come check out this area the area just south of the bridge is so much nicer that's where like half the mansions of the city are yeah that's true it's strange how just a river separates them right yeah like the extreme rich to the not the extreme poor but you the know extreme poor is a lot further north yet. yeah it gets poorer the further that way you go but I mean like we just came over a bridge right there and that's the richest area of the city and when I say rich I mean like these houses are worth millions and millions of dollars yep. like some of those houses in there are just ridiculous some of those houses are like twenty five hundred dollars a month just to rent twenty five hundred bucks a month just to rent which I guess all you viewers down south in big places like Los Angeles New York that's not that much but <laughs> but here that's a lot that is a lot even in Calgary, if you go west, it's like 1500 bucks a month is normal. 15, yeah. 25 to 35 is high, though. To rent a, the same kind of house down south, like in LA or out west, I bet you'd be like five grand a month, five, seven grand a month. Five, ten, yeah. Yeah, they are ginormous. There's going to be a day when I come through here and just show you the richest areas of the city. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, why don't we do that? Ridiculous. Yeah, we should. Just put around like there's tuxedo. A guy, and There's a guy in the city that rents a Lamborghini. Oh, no way. It's 200 bucks an hour or 250 an hour. Should we rent a yellow Lamborghini? I don't think it's Bieber yellow. Bieber reference? I think it might be black. <laughs> oh, that's Bieber. I see, I wouldn't know. Bieber reference. He rented a yellow Lamborghini. <laughs> Got caught street racing and drinking and driving. I like my country music. I don't I don't know anything about Bieber. Yeah, he may be Canadian, but we don't know anything about Bieber. <laughs> no, we don't know him just because he lives here. But uh, we should go and rent that Lamborghini and then just go and we'll show you guys the rich areas. Yeah, because then we'll fit in, because everyone there has, like, exotic cars, and at least, like, you know, exotic European cars, a lot of BMWs, Mercedes. I know there's a few Ferraris in the neighborhood. Yeah, there's a Ferrari 458 Italia. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh. oh, just the rump. I hear that RPM coming, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I start getting excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> I know there's a yellow one that I keep seeing around. I met him once and he's uh he his business is online pharmaceuticals. He just sells pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals. 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 I'm from the country. Pharmaceuticals like your nail. <laughs> Anyways, he has an online pharmacy. That's his business. And he owns a yellow Lamborghini here in Winnipeg. Rich, rich, rich. There's a couple of people with uh Skyline GTRs, the new ones. And actually, one of them lives just down over this way, the other side of the river. Oh. And uh, I really want to race them, <laughs> like so bad. I've I've had a couple of cars try to race me, and they're just stupid cars. Well, not stupid. Like I love Camaros, like '67, '68 RSSS Camaro, Don Yanko Camaro. Wow. The new Camaros, the RSSS, they're all right. Well, I had one come up beside me, Bumblebee, black and yellow, and. I was going freehand because I usually coast freehand when I come up to a red light. So I'm just coasting along, second gear, and all of a sudden I hear this guy just and he goes revs up, takes off. And I'm kind of waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and then I punch it. And like my second gear is wild, absolutely wild. I love second gear. First gear will bring me to like 148 if I'm redlining. That second gear, it doesn't matter where I start off, it just goes. So he is ready half a block ahead and I punch him past him. And then I just, I put up my hands and I went like this, like, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously didn't see the 1,000. Or he there. just doesn't know bikes. He doesn't know bikes, yeah. I wouldn't pull up beside you and try anything. He, he revs his engine in traffic and I just stay quiet and just pretend that was me. <laughs> Everyone turns around and looks, who was it? That, that was me. Uh, we have a lot of fun, Josh and I. Trucker yeah. Josh. Yeah. Really, my actual name's Josh. Believe it or not, my parents didn't name me Trucker Josh. Yeah, who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it, yeah. I am actually just Josh. You James. look like a trucker to me. It's the beard. Yeah, like I probably look like a James. You look like a trucker. I look like a trucker, yeah. I I'm... don't know that I would have guessed your middle name to be Josh, but I definitely would have guessed <laughs> the first one to be Trucker. Can you imagine <laughs> my parents? We're going to call him Trucker because he looks like a trucker. My nephew's Tucker. Tucker? Pretty close. Um, he can't grow a beard like you yet, though. Yeah. His daddy can't either, so I doubt that he will. I almost said I wanted to cut it off. I, I couldn't let go of it yet. Couldn't let go of it. Also, I just got home. 
Uh, James had a housewarming thing to go to. Uh, one of his friends just moved. He's having a housewarming party thing. So I went in and dropped in for the first uh, maybe half hour or so there. I said hi to everybody, introduced myself. I knew the guy uh, from before, sort of. I've met him before. I shouldn't say I know him. I've met him, know of him. Nice guy, really good guy. So we went and hung out there for a bit. And then I came home because I gotta clean up all of this stuff yet. I got one more day, I got tomorrow before I have to leave. It's tomorrow's Sunday. And first off, first thing in the morning, there's church. And then after church, uh, Sunday's Mother's Day is tomorrow. So I'm gonna go and spend some time with my mom at her campsite. So I wanna get mostly everything done today so I don't have much to do tomorrow. So I can spend most of the day at the campsite there with her. Let's see how Diesel fared. Diesel! Diesel! Is there a diesel in here? Is there a, there a diesel? I'm looking for a weasel. Excuse me, have you seen the weasel? Have you seen the weasel? Oh, I'm the weasel, man. That's me. Good boy. Now, I'm going to go look for the weasel over here. Maybe he's over there. I thought you said you were the weasel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the weasel. Come here, bud. Stop running away from me. Sit down. Come here in front of me, bud. What are you doing back there? Come here. I'm in front of me. Sit. Stay. What do you got here? Stay. He's got his new bandana. Stay, Diesel. You gotta put your head down. Oh, that's got our logo on there. Diesel, please. So it's got the Truck of Josh and Diesel logo on there. Can you see it? Diesel's kind of wild right now. Aren't you, Diesel? Aren't you? Wanna do a dance? Wanna do a dance? Do a dance. Oh, don't run away, man. I want you to dance. Come back here. Dance. Dance for me! Oh, wow, don't fall me over. Good dance. Dance. Do the dance. Come on, man. You know how to do it. Oh, oh. No, he just wants to run. He's no dancing. To, no dancing in this house. Okay, let's go get the weasel. The weasel. He's outside. Oh, my camera battery's almost dead. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. James is coming here later. Did I tell you that already? Yeah, he's going to come spend the night here. We're going to go to church together in the morning on our bikes. Um... I gotta take my phone with me. I'm expecting a Skype call. And I don't want to miss it. So while we're out here, we're gonna go and get the weasel. Diesel! What are you, what are you looking at? I'm over here, man. <laughs> I thought you were in the window just a second ago. Hurry up, Diesel. We're gonna get a Skype call right away. On the phone. You wanna run for a bit? You wanna run for a bit? Maybe we can Skype out here. Yeah? Well, where are you going, man? Where are you going? Do you want... Oh, 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 man, that's... Don't hit me there. Just ran straight into my car. <laughs> okay. Go. Go. Chase the weasel. Chasing a weasel. Chasing a weasel. Diesel. 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 I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Keep running, boy. Keep running. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh. Oh. We're going to have to go into Diesel's pen to show you this. One second. <laughs> Diesel, what are you doing, man? That's my kingdom. This is an air conditioner. Notice how it's on. I turned on my air conditioning for the first time this year. What is it today? May 10th? May 9th? 2014? Hot enough to use the AC. Remember how much snow was in my yard? Remember? Look at me. Out here in a t-shirt. With the air conditioning on. Chasing a weasel. Chasing a weasel. I really need a bigger yard for him. I can't take care of a bigger yard. Can't even take care of this yard. Okay, let's go back inside and wait for our Skype call patiently. You're all wondering, who is it? It's a secret. 